All right, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Maybe you're coming from the Beats iPhone 16 Pro case right over here. And as you guys can see, we did a little unboxing linked right up here. So make sure to go check out that video if you haven't already. But today we are here again with a little small unboxing and review of the iPhone 16 Pro clear case with MagSafe. It's the usual, we do it every year, nothing's changed. Not even the price, once again, $69. Actually, it is on sale for $62 at Best Buy Canada, so go pick it up if you haven't already and if you're looking for a case and you'd like to knock off like $5 on this Apple brand case that's Loki scam. But anyways, talk about Best Buy Canada and I'll get to the unboxing. Talk about Best Buy Canada. If you guys follow me on Twitter, look at this. They replied, all love Best Buy. It's all jokes around here. iPhone 16 Pro, pull tab right over here. Satisfying, beautiful. And right over here, what do we have? The iPhone uh, 15 Pro, I mean 16 Pro case. They, it, it looks the same as last year. Other than this white action button, kind of questionable as, you know, tech realism mentioned in his video. That's going to be linked in the description. Pops right out. I have my ringer on, little MagSafe animation, just like so. Pop that in. Look at that, beautiful, it's clear, so you get that white animation. Natural Titanium 16 Pro, this is what it looks like. You can see that the MagSafe ring looks exactly like the camera control. Did I did I call this action button earlier? If I called this action button earlier, my apologies, I'm in camera control. It looks exactly the same as the MagSafe. It's a fingerprint magnet, if I could get it in the light, you could see that already a little smudges are coming up, but overall, you know, it looks good. Now, sitting just like this, using it handheld, you could see that the camera control white button is sticking out of the top side of the case itself so that's interesting interesting design do you guys think that they should have just made a cutout do you guys think that they should have just kept a normal side button over here or should they have made it a completely different color like black or match it to the color of the phone depending on what clear case you get for what color of the phone you get what i'm saying but anyways here you are action button tactile volume up volume down tactile side button camera control button tactile one thing we did not do in the beats case is test out the magsafe we're gonna slap it right on there and it's not certified <laughs> all right let's try that again all right maybe i just didn't put it on good but maybe this thing also we got from winners and it does not look great quality so maybe it's that but yeah, first time I didn't put it on so good, but you can see it is charging, it is working. So ignore that. But guys, this is the iPhone 16 Pro clear MagSafe case from Apple. Nothing new other than the camera control button. I think it looks nice. This is my clear case of preference every single year. And I know it's expensive, but I'm just an Apple fanboy. And another company needs to step up their game if that's gonna have to change. But anyways, no protection at the bottom. How do you guys feel about that? Like, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys want to see Apple add some protection to the bottom of their cases, or at least the clear cases, because the fine woven leather and silicone cases have had protection across all the years. And do you guys miss the leather case? Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, it's been Alex from Techrific. Make sure to go check out Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, where I try to update you guys regularly, all at Techrific it is. And make sure to go check out all the videos coming from Tech Realism here in Edmonton. Look at the behind the scenes on Instagram where we keep you guys posted with what's going on in our tech or personal life journey, lifestyle journey, whatever you want to call it. And I'll be flying over to Vancouver and to Montreal and a few surprise destinations between then. And we're going to be filming some content. So stay tuned for those videos, hopefully coming sometime at the end of October or early November. Until then, stay techie and I'll catch you guys in the next one.